This is a completion of the last 10 episodes of the custom Pokemon series. Enjoy! Creating a custom Pokemon for you! Alright, Lord Medieval Pizza, let's start by getting the power level of your Pokemon, and you're gonna get a starter that is absolutely awesome! Now we just need to see which starter you are, the fire, grass, or water type, and you are the grass type starter, that's so cool, but we can't just leave you pure grass type, so let's get another typing, which is rock. The first stage of your Pokemon is Scruff Pup, the baby wolf Pokemon. I know what you're thinking, and don't worry, this starter will stay on four legs. At level 7, it would evolve into Kaiokata. These Pokemon use their stone and force claws to break boulders, which they actually also eat. At level 35, it would evolve into Terral. These Pokemon are capable of digging straight through mountains, where they actually feast on the rock-type Pokemon that live inside. Alright, Blue Psycho, let's start by getting the power level of your Pokemon, and you are going to be regular. Now let's see how many times your Pokemon can evolve, and you got two, which makes you a full three-stage evolution line. Now let's see what typing your Pokemon's going to be. Your first type is the ground type. That's cool. One of my more favorite types. And you are ground dark type. And the last step before we see which Pokemon looks like, let's see if it has an X factor and you got a signature ability. The first stage of your Pokemon is Squid, the Sandy Skull Squid. These Pokemon like to keep their skin dry by bathing in the sun. At level 22, it would evolve into Squicksand. These Pokemon live in Quicksand and are always waiting for unexpected trainers to walk over them before attacking. At level 40, it would evolve into Octrocity. A desert monstrosity made from the bones of its prey, this Pokemon's signature ability makes it always attack second, but deal bonus damage the faster the opponent is. Because the more you move in quicksand, the faster you'll sink. Alright, Supersonic, let's start by getting the power level of your Pokemon, and you're gonna get a Mythical! That is so rare, that's one of the rarest things you can get! Mythical Pokemon usually don't evolve, but we do still spin this wheel, we have a chance, but none this time. Now let's see what typing your Mythical Pokemon's going to be. Your first type is the Ice type, that's cool, no pun intended, and your second type is the Cosmic type, that's our fan-made type if you didn't know. This Pokemon is shaping up to be really cool, now let's just see what its X Factor is, and it's a signature move. Your Pokemon is Nebulice, the Cosmic Ice Titan. Hailing from a distant frozen planet, this Pokemon's goal is to travel to other planets and turn them into frozen wastelands where only its fellow ice types can survive. This is reflected in its signature move, Frozen World, a status move that would start the hail weather effect with all Pokemon being hit by hail three times becoming frozen, except of course the ice types. Creating a custom Pokemon for you! Alright, Francisco Kamara, let's start by getting the power level of your Pokemon, and you are going to be regular. Now let's see how many times your Pokemon can evolve, and you got one, which makes you a two-stage evolution lock. Now let's see what typing your Pokemon's going to be. Your first type is the Bug type, that's cool, I think we needed more, and you are Bug Fairy type, interesting. And the last step before we see what your Pokemon looks like, let's see if you have an X Factor, and you do a new mechanic that could be anything. The first stage of your Pokemon is your Insect, the artsy spider Pokemon. These Pokemon are very creative and use their bright pink silk to make beautiful webs. At level 28, it would evolve into Grantula. This elderly spider uses its yarn-like silk to create sweaters for other Pokemon. This is reflected in its new mechanic where Grantula will occasionally create and be holding an item called the Grantula Sweater, which when given to another Pokemon will raise its friendship gain or it could simply be sold. Alright, Yeetus Man, let's start by getting the power level of your Pokemon, and you are going to be regular. Now let's see how many times your Pokemon can evolve, and you got zero, which actually makes you a basic Pokemon. Now let's see what typing your Pokemon's going to be. Your first type is the Poison type, that's cool, I think we needed more, and you're a Poison Ghost type, just like Gengar, one of my favorite Pokemon. And the last step before we see what your Pokemon looks like, let's see if it has an X Factor, and you do a signature ability. Your Pokemon is Cryptical, the Ghost vampire squid. These Pokemon are constantly surrounded by small jellyfish-like creatures that feed off of poison. And it's these creatures that are part of its signature ability called leeching companions that would trigger whenever critical poisoned an opponent. At which point the leeches would fly over to the opponent, feed off of their poison damage, before returning back to critical and healing him, making a very creepy symbiotic relationship. Alright, Xenobolt, let's start by getting the power level of your Pokemon, and you are going to be regular. Now let's see 
how many times your Pokemon can evolve, and you got one, which makes you a two-stage evolution line. Now let's see what typing your Pokemon's going to be. Your first type is the Dark type. That's awesome. One of my favorite types. And you are Dark Flying type. And the last step before we see what your Pokemon looks like, let's see if it has an X factor. None this time. The first stage of your Pokemon is Vampeck, the Vampiric Bird Pokemon. These Pokemon are the only known flying types that sleep completely upside down. At level 31, it would evolve into Draculot. Inspired by the Dracula Parrot, the drippiest bird alive, these Pokemon are known to lead small armies of their pre-evolutions that absolutely terrorize small villages. All right, Pandemonium, let's start by getting the power level of your Pokemon, and you are going to be regular. Now let's see how many times your Pokemon can evolve, and you got one, which makes you a two-stage evolution line. Now let's see what typing your Pokemon's going to be. Your first type is the Dark type, that's cool, one of my favorite types, and you are Dark Fire type. And the last step before we see what your Pokemon looks like, let's see if it has an X factor, none this time. The first stage of your Pokemon is Sparkit, the baby Puma Pokemon. These Pokemon are known to be extremely extremely friendly and help lost travelers navigate the jungle at nighttime. When exposed to a firestone during the nighttime, it would evolve into Pluma. These Pokemon are incredibly good at staying hidden, with the only real evidence for their existence being the occasional blue glow that can be seen in the jungle, with some trainers believing they don't exist at all. All right, Jack in love, let's start by getting the power level of your Pokemon, and you are going to be regular. Now let's see how many times your Pokemon can evolve, and you got zero, which actually makes you a basic Pokemon. Now let's see what typing your Pokemon's going to be. Your first type is not a type, it's none, which means whatever this next type is, it's your only type, and it's grass type. And the last step before we see which Pokemon looks like, let's see if it has an X factor, none this time. Your Pokemon is Gorlax, and you probably recognize it. That's right, this Pokemon is a convergent evolution of the iconic Snorlax. You see, long ago, a distant relative of both Snorlax and Gorlax used to live in very lush jungles. But when some of those jungles turned into cities with human waste and leftovers for it to eat, they evolved into the lethargic Snorlax. However, the descendants that stayed in the jungle had to hunt for their food and therefore evolved into the intimidating Gorlax. Alright, Snapthorn, let's start by getting the power level of your Pokemon, and you're going to be a convergent evolution that is super unique. And it means that now we need to see what generation we're making a convergent for, and it's Gen 1. Which means now we need to spin this wheel that has every single Gen 1 Pokemon on it, and we got Haunter, which I guess means we should do the whole Gengar line. Now let's see what typing this convergent Gengar line is going to be. Your first type is the Cosmic type, that is awesome, that's our fan-made type if you didn't know, and your Cosmic Rock type, this Pokemon's gonna be so fun. The first stage of your Pokemon is Gastroid, the angry asteroid Pokemon. These Pokemon are constantly angry and spend their whole lives searching for a planet to crash themselves into. At level 25, it would evolve into Homet. Packs of these Pokemon should be avoided by spaceships at all costs. At level 52, it would evolve into Ging Galaxy, a Pokemon that's known to be so powerful it's considered a cataclysmic event. Alright, Joe Schmo, let's start by getting the power level of your Pokemon, and you are going to be regular. Now let's see how many times your Pokemon can evolve, and you got one, which makes you a two-stage evolution line. Now let's see what typing your Pokemon's going to be. Your first type is the Dark type, very close to the Dragon type there, and you are Dark Normal, that's actually very interesting. And the last step before see what your Pokemon looks like. Let's see if it has an X factor. None this time. The first stage of your Pokemon is Marmy, the angry marmot Pokemon. These Pokemon think they're a lot tougher than they are and are always picking fights with creatures much really? larger than it. At level 26, it would evolve into Maulmot. These Pokemon are known to find the highest point of elevation they can before hurling insults at all nearby Pokemon in a constant state of trying to pick a fight. What's up, y'all? Thank you so much for watching this completion. Before before you go, make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss the next one. And if you want the next one, make sure to leave a comment because that's where I get them from. And besides that, just liking, sharing, all that amazing stuff is so helpful because I'm still a pretty small YouTuber. So all that stuff helps exponentially. Thank you again for watching.